Hi, and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at the new sequence function, which is one of the new dynamic array functions in Excel. And I'll, in case you're not sure, I'll explain what, what we mean by dynamic array. So in this scenario, I'd like to create a sequence of numbers to identify each of the schools listed. And uh, so I'm going to create a column called uh, ID number. And of course, we know there's a number of ways you could do that. You could, of course, do it manually, or you could kind of start a sequence like this, and then you could drag it down like so. Or you, and then you, of course, keep dragging it down when you had more entries. You could do a formula that adds five to the previous cell. There's a few ways to go. But I want to point out the sequence function. It's really nice. It looks like this. I'm going to start in cell B2 equals uh, sequence. And there's only one required parameter, which is the number of rows that you want this formula to spill down to. And so spilling down is a, is a capability that's part of the new dynamic array functions. When I set this up correctly, it will produce a result not only in the one cell where the formula has been written, but it will quote unquote spill down to the cells below to accommodate more information. So since I want an ID number adjacent to each of the items in A, it will work out very nicely. So first, how many rows of data does this sequence function need to spill down to? Well, that would be however many entries I have in column A minus one. Of course, there are four entries, but one of those entries is a header. So we'll use the count A function, which you know counts all the used cells in a range. Now again, if I left that as is, that result would be four, and we only want three rows of ID numbers. So we'll put a minus one there. So that is the only required function, but you get a bit more capability here. I'm gonna put a comma and indicate that I only want one column of sequential numbers. Now you could specify a wider array where your, your sequences could, your resulting sequence could be multiple columns in width as well as multiple rows in height, but we're going to keep this to one column in width. The start parameter is what number do I want to start at? So let's say I want to start with 100. Let's say that's what I want my first entry in column A to have the ID number 100. And maybe I want the subsequent entries to increment by 10. So my step value will be 10. That's it. I want a sequence of numbers that's as tall as the number of entries in column A minus 1. So 3 for now. One column in width, start with number 100, increment or step by 10. And so we get 100, 110, and 120. And the spill effect of the dynamic array function um, has extended it for me. No need to drag it down manually. And therefore, I don't have to drag it down if I continue. So if I now add another entry, then the process just uh, continues like so. So we like the fact that it will continue to extend without us having to pull the formula down any, any further. And when we say dynamic array, what we mean is that it will dynamically adjust based on the data it is associated with. So I don't have to keep going back and dragging down, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that is the sequence function. I hope you find it useful. Please come back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. Have a productive day.